All right, guys, let's take a look at a new brand. It's called Stella, and this is the model Felix. Now, there's different colorways or versions, whatever you want to call it, but this one is version one, the dress blues. Now, I'm a big fan of that denim dial because I've been eyeballing that Omega Railmaster, um, you know, the denim dial on that one. So when uh, Marcella reached out to me, it's... Um, so it's co-owner on Stella. This uh, Marcella and uh, Steven, I think, are the two owners, and uh, they have different backgrounds. But combined, they were able to put together a really nice product at a decent price point. So uh, I believe this was a Kickstarter launch. I'm not 100% sure what the Kickstarter price was, but I'm sure that was where the real value deal was. So if you guys know that information, go ahead and put it down in the description. Um, or down in the comments, excuse me, down in the description, I will put a link to their website and you can check out all the different colorways and uh, see which one could potentially be a watch for you. Um, I know some people might gripe about the price a little bit. It's $11.85, I think, is the retail on it. Um, and that is up there, so you're going to want some special things. Well, I think the special things that this watch has is its unique design um, points. So it is not like any other watch that I've handled. It's definitely its own thing, and I really like that it's its own thing. There are a couple of areas that I would like to see potentially change in the future going, you know, towards other uh, models, but this one I am a big fan of. So uh, let's get into the case size like I normally do, and then we'll get into those other points. And I have it off strap right now because I'm going to put it on this denim, but I want to show you the case back, and that's a one-piece rather than a leather. So 40 millimeter case, 47 lug to lug. You can see really nice turned down lugs there with drill holes for the uh, spring bars. And you can see it's basically like a four piece case construction. So, you know, obviously a case back, you have this piece here, which is PVD coated stainless. You have the main body of it, and then you have your bezel up top. And then of course the crystal pressed into the bezel. So you can also see signed crown. That crown is 6.7 millimeter and uh, has like an enamel like red star in there and then there's a, actually a little bead of red in the um in the crown on the side there too so uh so 40 by 47 thickness is 13.7 you can see that crystal has a heavy chamfer and then a slight dome to it it has multiple layers of ar coating on the underside and then the lug width I guess we're going to call it 20. When I measure it, it's actually like 19.75. So I was trying to find like another strap or something to put on there. Um, and I really feel like some Omega straps could potentially fit, maybe some other ones. Um, but it's a little too narrow. And I think where the spring bar holes are. So I guess one of the things I would like to see is a bracelet option, obviously, right? So however they want to do that um, in the future, if they can get a bracelet for this actual model or future models, either way, I'm a bracelet guy. I'd like to see a bracelet. This one wears great on strap and the leather that it comes with is very good too. I just like to have a bracelet option. So um, let's talk about the movement, which we can actually see. We have a display case back here. It is using the STP1-11. Um, and again, that is a movement that I know some people hate it or love it sort of thing. Um, but I'm getting some good specs on the time grapher with it. It's running at a plus five seconds. And, uh, you know, it's not like COSC or anything like that on this particular movement. It's just a top grade movement. You can see there is some decoration going on there. And they have a custom rotor like the Red Star on there again. 26 jewels, you know, Stella on there, Swiss made, all that good stuff. And then you have the, uh, even the case back is really well done. There's a star pattern there as well. And it's like deep pressed. So pretty cool movement is, or uh, display case back and um, movement as well, really. If we look at the dial, I mean, it's it's got some deep graining to it, but it's, uh, you know, an alternating pattern. So it doesn't look like it's uh, uniform or anything like that. It looks more like you would see on a denim where it's going to be inconsistent. Heavy applied indices, tons of loom on these. It's They're using C3 and C1, so we'll do a loom shot at the end. But you can see there's a the AR coating kind of pops in right there. 
Nice clean date window at the three o'clock there, framed in with a beveled, polished ring. That's nice for contrast. I'm a sucker for the denim dial. There are some other really good colorways of this and different combinations for the, you know, the indices and stuff. This one has the cream and everything on it, but um, there's some bright whites and the black dial one looks really good. And then there's some off-white ones as well. So um, before I continue on with the watch, I want to show the packaging real quick. It's I, The only reason I want to show it is because it's different and I dig it. So this is really nice full leather, very similar to the leather to what is used on the strap. has a denim lining on the inside. It was just fun. Nice denim pillow. And then it also even comes with this leather denim like separator thing. Basically, this was separating the bottom. On the bottom, there was this foam piece and this really heavy weight. Um, in case you didn't know, they're also based in... Uh, Stella watch company is based in New York. So, and then the watches are Swiss made. But somebody pointed out to me that the, um, this thing is actually a tool. So, um, you know, it's a weight, so it makes the package feel like heavy and quality and everything like that. But somebody told me that this is the case back removal tool because the star pattern on there is not traditional. So you would need potentially this guy here to remove the case back, which I'm trying to line up. Oh yeah, it drops right in. So that's your case back removal tools if you need to take it into a watchmaker to have a service or a regulation or anything like that, you would probably drop this tool off for them, say, hey, this is the, the tool you probably want to use for the case back. So pretty cool that's integrated into the packaging too and was gave them capabilities of making a really cool case back. So the leather strap, I actually really like this too. I like the contrast of the stitching and it's it's gotta be treated with some sort of wax or something. I don't know a ton about leather straps, but like you can twist it and it'll kind of hold that form. And the reason I like that is because when you get that curvature of your wrist, once, once you get it sized up and everything, it's just, it's comfortable. It kind of holds it positioned better. So I really do like that. I did have one failure with this. Um, this keeper actually came out so I just need to re-glue that. Probably not a big deal. I'll probably just put some good glue in there or something, some jeweler's glue or something, get some sort of bonding agent in there. So it's nothing to really freak out about. That's how they're constructed anyway. They just glue them. Um, you can see this one's smashed together and stitched, but there's no stitching in this one. So, you know, that doesn't make it a bad strap. It just, it had a failure. I was probably tugging on it too hard or something like that. So I'm going to put it on this denim strap, which is from... Haviston, which they had just sent me, and uh, and then Stella sent me this watch, and I was like, whoa, what are the odds of that? Because look at that. Um, and so if you have one of these, or you have a denim dial watch or something like that, which there's not a ton out there, get this strap from Haviston, because it, I mean, look at that match. It's like dead on. So I'm really digging that. So let's pop this guy in wrist, and then we'll close out with a loom shot, because I know I went crazy long. Um, the only other gripe I think I have with the watch, and I, I usually, guys, I try to focus on all the positives, but uh, with, a, with a new company like this, um, this is just information that they, they need to know. They need this feedback, right? So there it is on my seven and a quarter inch wrist with the Havison strap, and that's a home run, guys. I'm really digging this watch. The comfortable nature of it, the size of it, the legibility, and just the the very good looking, you know, dial and layout and everything like that so back to my other gripe right you guys don't hear me gripe too much about watches so the traction on the screw down crown is weak it's there you can do it but you really got to pinch down and it's because i think you know their um their cutouts here in there uh just are a little harder to grab because you have that separation and then you have a smooth ring on the outside so um, totally doable. It's not like a huge deal uh, to mess with, but I would have liked to see maybe a little more traction on the crown. That's all. Um, not a deal breaker. It doesn't doesn't make me like not like the watch or anything like that. It's just a, a point of interest to possibly improve in the future. So, all right, let's kill the lights, check the loom. So we have C3 and C1. Um, it's not a loom monster by any means. Um, 
but it's definitely visible because you, you have all of those uh, Arabic indices that are going to give you easy orientation to what time it is, and then the hour and minute hand, of course. So nice layout, but for it's hard to tell, I know, on camera, but like, for example, here's the Seiko. So again, when you're a micro brand, I know they have access to other Loom. I, I don't understand why more of them aren't using brighter Loom. Um, I, I, it just it baffles me. C3 is fine. C1 is fine in most cases for most watches. But um, give me C3X1, guys. That's all I ask. All right, thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the next bid.